the word for the day is rally. As in, I'm excited to see how many people have decided to put on a rally across the state of Florida for various things. <clears throat> Most of them in protest to um, draconian or offensive policies being promoted by Republicans. Um, legislative session is approaching fastly in Tallahassee, which means that throughout the session there are usually lots and lots of rallies that are held on the Capitol steps, either in the front or the back where there's multiple places. And you'll, you'll get actually start to get a feel for those as I'll, I'll be doing some video from each of those events that I can attend this year. Um, but uh, I think it's, it's, it's good to see um, something that we hadn't seen for a very long time um, and haven't seen outside of specific context of something like war, people getting out, taking to the streets, and, and saying that they're not going to put up with some of the nonsense that's being pushed on them. Um, I hate to say this, but for too long now, people in the Democratic Party in positions of power or elected office have kind of not really pushed back against Republican uh, talking points and Republican attacks on people who are part of our um, our coalition, our base. Um, and it's led to um, changes in the law and changes in what's acceptable in terms of attacking those people and undercutting their rights and, and uh, the end result of not strong enough fight from Democrats. Um, now, that's not to say all Democrats. Some Democrats have fought very hard and very staunchly on behalf of our allies. But some, the fact that many of them did not has effectively led to a weakening of the default position in many, <coughs> in many of these situations. So that at one point, what would have been an unacceptable attack on um, the collective bargaining rights, say, of state workers, um, which if Democrats have been staunchly defending unions and state workers um, the way they used to, such an attack never would have taken place. Um, because of the fact that that hasn't happened, it's now apparently okay for that to go forward and be proposed. And so th this is happening kind of across the board. Um, one positive thing to come out of this is that now we're starting to see that since um, too few Democrats are, are taking up the, uh, the, the mantle of, of defending the workers and defending unions and defending other allies, that the people themselves are taking to the streets and organizing um, events to protest these types of policies and to, to fight back in um, other ways than just what uh, you could do through legislation. Um, in Florida, we have a bunch of things happening. I'm most uh, notable right now is the Awake the State rally on March 8th, or I should say rallies on March 8th, which will be taking place across the state. Um, but there, there are numerous others. It's hard to actually keep track of how many there are. There was uh, just one just happened um, in support of high speed rail in Tampa. Um, and there's there's a bunch coming up. That I think there's one at the Capitol tomorrow in defense of teachers, and I'm pretty sure I'll be at that one. So one way to keep track of all of these things and be able to participate where possible, um, the Florida Progressive Coalition blog and wiki has a calendar. So if you go to flaprogressives.org and then click on the wiki tab, it'll say calendar on the left-hand sidebar. Visit that, and you will be able to find um, any of the major rallies or events that are happening um, statewide in Tallahassee during the session or in some select other areas depending on the size and importance of the particular rally. And if you want to make sure that your event gets on that calendar, you can email me at quinnellk at hotmail.com, Q-U-I-N-N-E-L-K at hotmail.com. The off button does not work apparently.